Not sure how many of you took a trip down the memory lane. Good old times when Captain Planet saved this environment by burning down the enemies of this planet. Let me start off with a line that stuck with me from the show. Reduce, reuse and recycle. Paper as a commodity is the first victim targeted when you go green. Most of the business is now proudly announcing paperless transactions. Heck we all witnessed how Dunder Mifflin paper company filled the heat under low paper demand. This is the worst. My son's school has been preaching this green mantra ever since he joined the kindergarten. But the irony here is the worldwide printer sale has been steadily increasing, especially post the pandemic. Here's an article that puts forward a number of excuses that people shared for buying one. It is high time that we address this at some point. To do my part, I bought one from HP. that does auto duplex prints therein cutting the paper use by half at least that's an excuse i told myself to go for the 2021 hp smart tank 720 without further ado let's get into the video picking a hp printer for home use was a no brainer for me considering their sales figures rising every year and the testimonials of great after sales service and support they are offering although they are having a long list of smart ink tank models i went for the 7 series ones launched very recently in 2021 as i struggled to figure out an elegant way to unpack this printer let me explain the three new models in the 7 series printers There is a 790 which is top of the line. Some of the notable features here are the ADF which is the auto document feeder used for scanning multiple pages. There is the auto duplexer and a touch enabled under panel LED screen. There are also multiple glowing lights which show the status of the printer with some pleasant lightings. The model that is just below the 790 is the 750 which has similar set of features except for the touch screen and the fancy lights. So here you get a small LCD display and few buttons to give your inputs. Finally, the base model is the 720. It is exactly same as the 750 except for the auto document feeder. I for one am not going to scan a buck load of anything, so I skipped the ADF feature. Although I say this is the base model, it has every single feature that is required from an all-in-one printer. I am also a person from the last generation who feels that having a button to enable something is more easy than having to swipe down across a screen to select what I need. So this is my reason for choosing the 720 for my printing needs. After I shortlisted what I need, I went to the HP online store. With nothing to lose, I put my poor bargaining skills to work and to my surprise, I got 5% discount on the final price. Cool, right? I suggest and I strongly believe that if you flex your bargaining skills you can definitely beat my price. This printer was delivered fairly quickly and with a lot of protective bubble wraps. So, I had to whip out my tetanus coated blade and started slicing through the packaging. The printer is packed sideways, so a bit unnerving to pull it out, but it is nothing to worry. Along with the printer came two boxes. One of the box was packed with the power cord, the data cord, and five bottles of ink, of which two were black. The other box housed the cartridges taped to it. As you can see the power and data cord plugs into the rear and the rear also houses a flap that opens to pull out any papers that get jammed. The left side of the printer houses a notch on top that helps you to open the printer to load the cartridges to refill the inks and sorts. The top of the printer 
houses the scanner, which can accommodate any paper size that is smaller than a letter. Now, let's get to these buttons on either side of this LCD screen. All these buttons are backlit, which helps you identify them easily. I will just mention the important ones that you need to know. You have the power on off button, there is the Wi-Fi connectivity button which also shows the status of the Wi-Fi and there is the cancel button on the rightmost end. Setting up this printer is all guided by the HP Smart App. This is the first step of the installation process where you are requested to install this app either to your Android or iOS phone. First you sign up and connect to the printer. After this you are given a set of well guided instructions of what needs to be opened, how it needs to be opened, when it needs to be opened and when it needs to be closed. Any happily married man can easily put this printer together in no time. The tricky part is the alignment test that the app requests you to take. So after it prints out a test paper, you need to scan the same and wait till the app is convinced that you did follow all its instructions to the dot. Patience is the key here. Again, not a rat right for us folks. All said and done, let's talk about how it delivers. Being a color printer, the first thing I wanted to print out was a photo. So the color prints, as I can say, comes out reasonably sharp, but not very color accurate. I should mention that the paper you fade in does impact the quality and the sharpness of the output you get. A good quality paper makes a significant difference here. Documents in color don't have a problem and are quickly printed out with a very good sharpness level. But when it comes to images, depending on the image size, the resolution, the color information in the images and the format, it does take some time for prints to be printed out. The next thing I was looking forward to is the auto duplex printing. That means it can print on either side of the page automatically. We don't have to refeed the page by flipping and turning the paper. Anxious much, I printed out a duplex color print. After it printed out the first side, there was a moment of silence. After about 5 to 6 anxious seconds, the paper didn't get pulled back and started to print on the other side. I then realized that this is done intentionally to ensure that the prints are dried completely before being pulled back for the duplex prints. So again, patience is key here. For the price you have paid, is it going to substitute our trips to the studios for taking prints or photos? Again, it depends on the image size, the color info, the quality of the output you are requesting for. But I can safely say that it does deliver good color images, albeit not as good as the professional prints not even close, but it is perfect for home use to fill your small photo frames. Definitely you can. In order to test it out more accurately, I did buy myself some glossy photo papers and gave it a shot. As you can see, yes. It is good for small photo frames and if you are considering black and white tops, definitely a high quality grayscale prints are going to be amazing with this high glossy photo papers. Curious much, 
I took one step further and tried printing out transparent sticker sheets which I had lying around. If you plan to print out some nice labels on your bottles or some cheesy codes that you want to put on some mugs or the back of your ride, yes, you can do it and it does it well. The only gripe I found here was the blacks are not sticking to the shiny glossy papers well. I think it is something to do with the ink. The areas with colors are fine, but the areas with pitch black do tend to come off when we rub it off with our fingers. Before I summarize the pros and cons of the printer and my user experience, I want to disclose to you very clearly that the printer I have right now with me is facing some technical issues for which the HP team is constantly supporting me and trying to resolve it. TLDR, the short version is the printer is now not able to reconnect to my home network. But HP has come forward and told that they have escalated the issue and they will be replacing my printer. So this is full disclosure from my end. You can either take it positively that HP support and services is great or as a con As I mentioned, pros, this is a great printer. This is something that you definitely need to consider. And being from HP, the support and services will be great. And it also does auto duplex printing and the cost of the printing is going to be less. And yeah, it has an all-in-one printer. So you have all the smart features baked into it. Now, the cons, the only major con I could say is patience. Color prints do take time. It's not the documents. If you're going to plan for print pictures, you have to wait for it. And if you're going to print duplex, that is the only con I found. If you can find an excuse to buy a printer, then this should be in your list. But if you are even smarter and you feel that a printer is not required, well and good, you are part of Team Captain Planet. Of all the great content you could have clicked on YouTube, thank you for choosing this video. I really appreciate it. If you liked this video, hit the like button once. If you did not, hit the dislike button and leave your constructive feedback and questions in the comment section below. Please subscribe to my channel IJO for more videos on tech, travel and other interesting life hacks. See you all soon in another video. Until then, stay safe and stay cool.